Okay, so this is going to go into a new predicament and it comes to um, us um, just on, as a nation it comes to new visa requirements in um, regards to US. Now, right off the bat with the Trump administration, they're saying that they are going to um they um they're going to um, regards to getting visa that they're going to be looking at people's back application forms are going to be asking um um asking what social media platforms do users use like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is um which basically means that what um that regards to what what kind of posts you make online um, what, um, whether they find it accepted or not will be part of what the new visa requirements are and predictably a lot of people are rightfully up in arms about that because this new um, this new protocol took place last in the last month and it's just right over the bat when I saw it though. this it basically sounds like so like it sounds something like out of an out of Nazi Germany that they are basically making these new making these new rules to kind to crack down on people uh crack down on people and make it tougher for people to get visas because they um they come um, for example some people who work in u.s immigration uh, or representatives of those people can look at these immigrate look at your social media and they just said okay i don't really like this guy's views well regardless of whether it's political or otherwise um we just we said uh, we're not really going to have we're just going to deny him a visa, and that is as a lot of Jamaicans up in arms, all right. Especially how a lot of Jamaicans like to travel or um, travel to the U.S., especially for the personal or business reasons. So it is basically, and as basically said right off the top of the bat, this is basically um, a Gestapo, new, new Gestapo type policy. And what Trump is doing, and the ministry should do, and this is deliberate, they're deliberately trying to make things harder. For immigrants, especially for those from the from these shithole countries, as you like to say, like I mean, the Caribbean, Africa, wherever, it's primarily places where people of color are concerned. Like they're making all these rules so that it can make it harder for people to um these people to get into the U.S. Now, bear in mind, obviously these these policies were on, on the table way before Trump got into Oval Office, but he's the one. That's helped to spearhead these initiatives, which is, um, which, which is basically um, um, harkens back to something in Nazi Germany. All right. So, and again, people here, especially our fellow Jamaicans, you need to understand. They're just me sending a message to Jamaicans. Say, okay, we are trying to make it so that you niggers, all right, because Jamaica, as they're concerned, I know places in Caribbean, wherever. We're just nigger colonies, all right? And if we can decide, find ways to make it harder for you niggers to come into our country, we're going to do it. So that's what they're doing, this social media thing, that they're just going to say, okay, he says some things that I don't agree with online. Okay, um, we're not going to give you a visa, so bye. All right, so all I can say to offset this, though, is that I basically think that they should fight this though because that's basically a violation of you a pri um, privacy right there because what people do do in their private lives and these social media platforms are people's personal business that um, that is a violation of privacy that's also a violation of human rights unless the person is proven that they they're up to some criminal activities and the authorities need to keep an eye on that person so that they don't do anything dangerous this is just a violation of human rights, and this should be fought down instantly. All right, and and in the meantime, Jamaicans, um, if you can find opportunities elsewhere, or or so. I mean, I understand part of it is that most of us have friends, family, loved ones in the states. All right, and it's gonna be hard for them to see to see if they said it. Um, if giving us a 50-50 chance, some Nazi in the uh, um, immigrations decides not to. Allow you in a visa because they don't like your views. Um, find someone. We hope keep fighting it. And in the meantime, all I can say is that hopefully you can look to other places in the world that hopefully don't have these, um, the these, um, this third, um, this, um, this rake. Um, and I mean R E I C H like policies, all right? Because again, this is something weird. What the Nazis? Something similar to what the Nazis. Would do in Nazi Germany, where they, in order to crack down dissensions, they'd be depriving 
um, the civilians of their human rights, the basic human rights. And this is a violation of um, human rights in a sense, though, because unless I can bear in mind, a lot of social media platforms are monitored by the feds anyway. I don't really see what this new policy would add towards it. But this is just, they're just basically sending a message that we just trying to make it so that you niggers so here in Jamaica or wherever else don't get over here as much as in as many numbers as used to. But this is what I have to say, and we'll see how this turns out. And I hope people fight this to the fight this tooth and claw. All right.